Hi everyone, Henry from Enterprise DNA here. In this video, which is very exciting, we'll be going through Power Virtual Agents and we'll be doing a very quick five to 10 minute start of it. Now, what is Power Virtual Agents? Power Virtual Agents is Microsoft's way for you to create chatbots that you can then deploy to your website, to your teams, to a bunch of different places. Really the powerful thing about virtual agents in general is that it allows you to create chatbots without needing to think of the machine learning and all of the complex math and linguistics behind it because Microsoft does that all for you and what you have to do is really give it content and resources to digest. So let's get right into it. So what I have on my screen right now is the Power Virtual Agents page and let's go ahead and create a new chatbot. So what I'll do is I'll go into this guy over here on the top right and then click new bot. Okay. So let's call this bot, for example, uh, the loan helper FAQ bot. Okay. We'll need to select a language. Obviously we'll choose English. Um, and that's it. And let's click create. Now we'll create our bot and similar to in Power Apps needs to provision everything for the actual creation. For example, when you're creating model driven apps, it takes a while because it needs to create all the entities and connectors behind it. It's basically doing something very similar. Okay, it should almost be done. Okay, perfect. So now it's still building in the background, but what we can do is we can start exploring. So if you go to topics over here, this is what tells Power Virtual Agents what to do when someone says something. So for example, over here, you have your trigger phrases, which then launch responses. So for example, we have here trigger phrase, phrase, when are you closed? And there's four iterations or versions of this trigger phrase that someone can say. We can see over here if we click it, and it's still being provisioned, so it's, uh, it's kind of slow right now. Let's give it a little bit. Okay, here we go, it's fully provisioned. So now if I go in here and click this guy, I can see over here that these are my four trigger phrases for this specific topic. When are you closed? When are you open? Store hours or daily open hours? And if I actually click this topic, our virtual agents tells me what the workflow looks like. If someone says this, we then send a message saying, I'm happy to help you with store hours. And then another message is sent, basically giving them the store hours. If I go back, there are more complex trigger phrases we can do. For example, you could have something like this. What is the best product for me? Now, that is not just a one-way communication, now it's a two-way communication, right? So if I go into this topic, for example, which again is triggered by this phrase, I can see that what the chatbot will then say is, do you see yourself as a home user, or a gamer user, or a business user? And then the person who's chatting with the chatbot needs to select. And then there's like different trees of options and they all come together at some point. And anyways, it can get very, very complicated. And you can actually test this on the left. So let's trigger something. So for example, we'll actually trigger this workflow over here. So we'll type in, what is the best product for me, question mark. And there we go. Now we can see it follow through. It asks us, do you see yourself as a home user, a gamer user, a business user? Let's select home user. And then it goes and goes on and goes forward. And you can even add something to the cart, for example, which in this case doesn't do anything, but you can, you know, kick off a workflow, access a third party API, make an HTTP request, anything that you need. But that's getting a bit complicated. What we wanna do is, hey, you already have your own website. For example, this website here, which is a loan company. And you want to be able to turn the FAQ page that you have into a chatbot. 
The FAQ page is something that people usually make that has a bunch of commonly asked questions that people have. Now, you want to create a chatbot so that if someone contacts you, you they first have to type in their question from a chatbot and the chatbot is smart enough to basically be able to know using all of this what the answer should be. So if someone types in, for example, how does Sunday make money, it should then respond with this answer over here. However, there might be different versions of this, right? They might ask, how does Sunday make money? They might also ask, how do you make money? They might also ask, how does Sunday make fees? They might ask, how does Sunday charge fees? All of these are really the same question, right? So you need a system that's smart enough to digest all of these FAQs, but then to also make the trigger phrases broad enough so that if someone says variations of this question, the answer is still the same. And that is exactly what we'll do. So let's go back to Power Virtual Agents, okay? And again, this is just a public website, by the way, that I've chosen. You can choose anything that has an FAQ page. And let's go to Suggest Topics. So with the Suggest Topics feature, you can actually tell Power Virtual Agents, take this page and then create all of those topic relationships that I showed you earlier. So let's click Add and then click Start. And now what Power Virtual Agents is doing is that it's actually crunching through all of this FAQ and determining what is the question, what is the answer, and using ML, even thinking about, okay, what are the different versions of this question that someone can ask me? Now this might take several minutes, so I'll pause the video right now and then go back to it once it's actually complete. After it's been crunched through, we can see over here if we go to suggested, we have 35 suggested topics. All of these topics relate back to this FAQ page. You have the actual trigger phrase, which is the question, and then you also have the answer as well. So if we, for example, go to what is Sunday, this is a trigger over here. And if I click it, I can see what the answer is. Well, I think I might need to actually deploy it first. So let's click add to existing topics. So now it's adding this to existing topics. Okay, perfect. So now if I go into here, what is Sunday? I can see that if someone asks what is Sunday, it will give me this message over here. Sunday is the only marketplace, blah, blah, blah. And which is exactly the same as what this is, right? So let's go back in here and what we'll do is we'll actually upload all of the suggested topics that we've gotten from FAQ into our existing topics. Okay, so I'll just click this guy over here and then click add to topics. And then I'll come back when this is done because this will take several minutes. Perfect, okay. Let's go to our existing topics. We now have 47 of them, so we have lots. And uh, let's actually you know, turn these on. And the one that we'll test with, for example, is we'll test this guy over here. How does Sunday make money? That's the one we had spoken about before. So let's turn this on. Okay, how does Sunday Make Money has been turned on? Let's refresh the page. Okay, and let's go back over here and try it out. How does Sunday Make Money? Question mark. And there we go, there's the answer. If I go over here and type in the same thing, I can see that Power Virtual Agents is smart enough to basically take this as a question, take this as an answer, and then feed it to me in my chat. So if a customer wants to chat with me and they ask a stupid question like how does Sunday make money when it's right over here, well, it's no bother. They'll get the answer either way, okay? And then the cool thing about virtual agents is that there's analytics behind this because if someone says no, for example, then you'll know that that probably wasn't a sufficient answer, so you might want to change your answer in the actual topic breakdown. But let's keep going. Instead of how does Sunday make money, let's say if someone asks us, how do 
or sorry, how do you make money? Because they're talking to us as a company. Well, check it out. How are virtual agents are smart enough to ask, to clarify, do you mean this or this? Well, we actually meant this. We can click it and it takes us back to the same answer. So if there's any variations, virtual agents are smart enough to know, hey, it might mean one or two or three questions and then clarifies. We can even do something completely different. We can do something like, how does Sunday make fees? Or we can say, how does Sunday get fees? And again, we get the same sort of thing where there's two questions that are fairly similar. We click this and it gets us what we want. And it's funny because you, you can actually keep going and going and going. We can even do something like if I refresh this and like try to break it. If I just say make money, <laughs> it gives probably gives me a lot of things, but <clears throat> we can still, it still finds that particular item and I can go over here and then find the answer to that question. Okay, that was a very fast, quick start into Power Virtual Agents. Again, Power Virtual Agents is what companies use to create chatbots that they put on their website, in Teams messages, in Facebook Messenger, anywhere that you can think of. And it's done using triggers and responses, kind of like what we talked about before. But one quick way you can actually have Power Virtual Agents on your website if you have an FAQ page is to just tell Power Virtual Agents, look at this FAQ page and create the chatbot for me. And you can get a pretty good chatbot if your FAQ is done well enough. There we go. Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.